Brigadier General John Hunt Morgan is in the center photograph. He was nicknamed the Thunderbolt of the Confederacy. Hunt led many raids, which meant he destroyed anything he could find in an effort to stop supplies from making their way to the Union soldiers. One night, Hunt and his men camped on what is now the Lebanon City Square. The photo in the middle on the right is Mosby's Raiders. The leader, John Singleton Mosby, was a Confederate spy nicknamed the Grey Ghost. He and his raiders used deception and fear to destroy anything that had to do with the Union Army. Mosby married the daughter of a Tennessee congressman and their wedding was in a Nashville hotel. As the war went on, the Confederate soldiers' dress became a mixture of their uniforms, that of their enemy, as well as civilian clothing. But their weapons always received constant, careful attention. To the left now, on the bottom, is an 1864 photograph of the Nashville train depot. Note the large number of engines. This was important for moving trains filled with military supplies as well as soldiers. And notice the piles of wood needed to fuel the big locomotives. And finally, take a look in the background, you'll see the state's capital. Above the train photo, you'll see soldiers on the banks of the Tennessee River waiting for the supply boat to dock. This water route was called the Cracker Line because most of the supplies on the vessel were ingredients to make food, including a type of cracker called hardtack. The war was over for these three Confederate soldiers. They were captured at Gettysburg and later transported to a prison camp. Everything this trio owns is on their body and in the sacks slung over their shoulders.